It is hard bag day here on the Rock Gut Review. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm Ed. I'm Erica. And this is Kelpie. So, uh, I have, this is definitely not the first hard bag we've had on the show. No. No. We've, we've done uh, drum. Drum. Yeah. Did drum. Yeah. But this is one I was thinking would probably appeal most to Erica as a Lafroy lover. I do love me some Lafroy. Really, really does. Um, because this is supposed to be their most sea timey. Well, that's that's not a word. Maritime. Now. Maritime. Sea-timey. Sea-timey. Yeah. It's supposed to be their most like salty, medicinal, sea influenced yeah. variety of of art bag. Almost said the frog there. Um, but we went, we actually went to the art bag bus mm -hmm. and we got this engraved. Actually, I'll show a picture of you guys right now. We got it engraved with a little stay rotten. Yeah, we also got these free t shirts. Free t shirts. Yeah. Um, but okay, let's get into this right quick. Okay. There's definitely that iodine like sea saltiness, which yeah. I'm really into. It is super. It's medicinal. It's kind of band-aid-y. Yeah. In a good way. Like yeah. the way. The way you like. like. Yeah. yeah. Um I don't know if it's necessarily as smoky. No. As other art bags. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I don't know if it's necessarily quite smoky. I mean it certainly is peaty though. Now, okay, we can get into it okay. no worries. Sorry. Oh, I love that taste. I like to drink things, yeah. No, it's really good. Oh, it's so good. It's got that sea salty maritime thing. I'm impressed with how much we've had so far. We've had this bottle for less than a week. Yeah. No, we've we've been hitting this one hard. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to reevaluate our lives here. It's really fantastic. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the whole point of this one is that it was it was supposed to be made from casks that were uh, made from oak from around the Black Sea. So, it, the oak was supposedly has absorbed all that salty seawater and sea air and all that, and then they made the casks out of it. So these are virgin black oak casks. I don't think the whole thing is virgin oak. I'm guessing just some of it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be totally wrong. Um, but yeah, so, and then, obviously they peated the malt like they do with all hard bags. I think they take it up to like 45 ppm, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it is good stuff. I I don't get as much of the bacony, meaty flavor as like with the Ardbeg 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's way more. It's way more salty, but it's not that like smoky and salty that I get from like Ardbeg 10 or Lafroig. Mm. But it's still really enjoyable. Oh, yeah. It's smoky on the finish. Yeah. Smoky on but the it's finish. Not, it's not the smoke that want. Right. Right. You really love Lafroy because it's that big mixture of smoke and of the seaside. Yeah. I've described it as Poseidon smoking a cigarette in your face, which like all I want in life. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you said this one was more like a mermaid smoking like five feet away. No, I, I, it's just like Poseidon came up, had a cigarette five minutes ago, and was like, hey. <laughs> Right, some seawater at your face. Yeah, that's fair. Do you want to put a drop of water in this? Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to get another sip before we do that. Okay, that's cool. I totally forgot what this is bottled at. That's on me. So let's take a peek right quick. Was it 46? Uh, I think you might be right. Yep, 46. I looked at it a couple minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so let's take a break, and we will come back when we've let this sit with the water for a second. Okay. Okay, we're back. Hello. Hello. Okay. So we've been letting this sit. Yep. Yeah. Um, what are we getting? I was saying, I think it's fruitier. It's like sweeter. I was thinking berries and pine needles was what I was I was saying. Yeah. And it's it's definitely flatter. Well, at least it's flatter for me now. And I get the pine needle thing, but I don't get the berries. And even the pine needle, well, pine needliness. Excuse our making up of adjectives. Yeah. Here. That's what we um, do. Yeah. <laughs> we don't play by grammar rules. Prescriptive grammar is, is for dummies. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Down with rules of verse, man. Words are lame. <laughs> but, <laughs> as we try to describe things. Yeah, right. But the pine needle this I get is kind of artificial. Like, it kind of smells like... 
like Christmas candles where it's like that fake pine needle and like a little bit of sugar and it's supposed to be like frosted pine. Yeah. That's kind of more of what I get. Yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, for sure. I think it just, there is a sweeterness. Yeah. Sweeter. Nope, sweeterness. Sweeterness. Own it. Own it. Sweeterness. That's the word. Um, yeah, there's more sweetness. Nope, sweeterness. Sweeterness. We are owning our own words here at the Rock. We are, we are creating a whole new language for whiskey tasting. Yes. We're going to write a book. like Which is made up words. Which is made up words for describing whiskey. Yeah. Um, Look for that. Buy it for everyone for Christmas. Yeah. I do think it's a little fire on the taste, though. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, okay, one last thing. Okay, the name... Oh, I get more smoke on the taste now. Do like, you? the sea saltiness is gone, but it's smokier for me now. Mm. It's not, like, smoke, but I don't know um, if you guys got the full effect of my punch there. Oh, that was bad. Okay. My neighbors <laughs> love us. <laughs> this video's going off the rails. <laughs> but yeah, you're saying it's more smoky? Yeah. It's not like hard hitting smoke, but like okay. it's there. Okay. Which I kinda wish that like that taste I got without water would pair more with the taste I got with water to give me what I want. Okay. Which is Lafroy. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like each part has it, it's before water has one part and after water has one part. Yeah, and I want them to And you just want them to be Lafroy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I still really enjoy this, but like I love LaFroy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, okay, one last thing I did want to mention about Kelpie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the name Kelpie is fantastic. It's really cute. But it comes from the name of a, it's like a, uh, it's like a mermaid horse, right? And basically, they've actually got the story of like, a on the back horse? of the bus. No, not a seahorse. Okay. It's a shape-shifting mermaid horse. Like it's, okay. it's, a, it's like a, Big old regular horse okay. with a mermaid tail. Okay. And sometimes it's a bull. Okay. Yeah, but they like drown people. There's yeah, a, that sounds about right. There's a lot of Gaelic stories about things like trying to drown people. Just don't come out to the, <laughs> near the water. They will drown you. But anyway, Ardbeg, awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing, nothing wrong with this one. Get some if you can. This ran us. <laughs> Limited release, right? This is limited, but it's pretty well okay. available. We've had, at the store I work at, we've had this on the shelves for a while now. Okay. So, yeah. It's definitely worth having a taste. Yeah. And uh, what did this run me? I think it was 140 at my local liquor store okay. uh, here in Wisconsin. Probably going to be different for you guys in other states, especially because Wisconsin prices can run high sometimes. So, yeah. Anyhow, do you want to... Do you want to say the thing? The thing. The ending thing? The ending thing. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, as always, stay, stay rotten. rotten.